Yeah, that's nasty, huh? If you're new to fiber lasers, you may be seeing something like this on your piercing. Let me show you what it should look like. Yeah, so it's Christmas Eve and uh, we got a couple of machines set up in here and I was just updating the videos uh, for people that have purchased the videos from me in the past, the videos uh, to teach you how to dial in a fiber laser. You should have got an update from the website, uh, automatic notification. If you didn't get it, just send me a copy of your original order and I will email you the updates. So, uh, one of the things about uh, these machines is uh, the piercing can be very difficult for some people. And the thicker you go up in the material range, the harder it becomes. And if you can grasp the concepts of piercing and understand it at a great level of detail, you can uh, really master everything about the machine. So uh, again, I think two new video updates on that and uh, the one you just saw there showing how to turn a nasty pierce into something very respectable, uh, shown in detail how to dial that in. And, um, but yeah, so if you're, if you got a fiber laser, you're new to it, you want to learn how to do all this. The information is out there on my website, ramseycustoms.com and a little update on this. We got it all ready to ship. We've got fluid out of it. We disconnect the wires. Did a bunch of testing, fine-tuned everything, and super happy with uh, with it. And I think it'll make a great machine for somebody. We had a bunch of tire kickers on it, but no money's transferred though. So if you want it, buy it. Three two inches nozzle height for the the stage of pierce that's in question. And let's say we had a negative six millimeter pierce focus. So that that would put the focal point happening right, you know, somewhere between uh, the end of the nozzle and the top of the plate. And so when you connect that along with the, uh, the oxygen pressure, you are dropping a hand grenade up in this area, like dropping a bomb into the sheet. And this is where your control comes in, you know, to find out where. All right, so rewinding back a few days ago, I made a return trip up to Ross's place up in Little Rock, Arkansas. And, uh, you know, we just did a little extra remedial session and kind of just, you know, refined, fine tuned his machine in a little bit better. Um, and so this was a sheet of 3 8 plate. And this kind of gives you a little contrast on 3 8 piercing with 3 kilowatt. You can see we have a super efficient, very, very crisp two stage pierce. Not at all lazy or slow, but compare that to a 6 kilowatt seen here you can notice that just the dramatic difference in the speed and the power you can even just listen to the frequency uh you know and, and if you think this is cool you ought to see a 12 kilowatt you know single stage piercing you know half inch plate uh it's it's uh, it's something to see but while i was up there with ross um he was cutting out um some fab tables out of 3 8 plate um, man, I gotta say, his, his machine is probably one of the nicest, well-dialed-in uh, machines that I've done. And it had to do, you know, with a lot of different things. One, he's got, he's got native 240-volt, three-phase power, plenty of it, you know, so that that's a factor. Um, and he was using some very high-quality materials, laser-grade sheets, makes a big difference. Um, but you could just look at these cuts that we were getting on the three-kilowatt uh, three eights here. 
and then you can see the precision fit on the bolt. We, we took some time to kind of fine tune the kerf offset to really get this to fit like you wanted it. And just wanted to wish all my customers uh, and all you guys that watch the videos a Merry Christmas. Hope, hope everybody's doing good, getting some time off, time with family, those kind of things. And we'll wrap it up here with a little shot of uh, Matt on the 20K Hoster. These 2.5G high acceleration machines are pretty heavy. They, they weigh about 11,000 pounds. So our 11K Lindy that we lift most things with, you know, can't quite lift it.